So I'm gonna answer some questions that people have been asking me, so if you wanna know, please stay tuned. Otherwise, just skip all this. All right, question one, what am I on? Well, I'm on the Empire Builder, which I took from Chicago to Seattle, and now I'm taking back from Seattle to Chicago. Uh, how long did this take? Well, it took two days, no, three days and two nights. So, yeah, long time. Uh, where does it go through? Uh, I think I'll just put a image up on the map. It's the Empire Builder. Basically passes through, uh, it starts in Chicago, goes to Wisconsin, Minnesota, and then up to the northern edge of North Dakota, Montana, passes through Idaho, near Ruby Falls, if you know what that's about, and then, uh, then into Seattle through Snoqualmie Pass. What are your accommodations? So uh, there's a few different ways you can ride. The most basic is coach, it's the cheapest. You basically sit in a reclining chair. It's comfy and nice and everything, but that's where you're gonna be sitting the entire ride. Um, and that's where you're gonna be sleeping too. Uh, but they seem pretty comfortable, uh, it's pretty quiet. But then, uh, then there's also the sleeper cars, which is considered first class. It's a little more expensive, but you get your own room, which is kind of nice. Uh, so there's like a few different classes of that. There's like roomette, which is the smallest, then bedroom, which fits two people as well. And then there's the family bedroom, which fits four people. And uh, I'm in a roomette. And it's decently sized. I have enough space to like stretch out. And uh, I can even stand up. So this thing right here is the bed. You can bring this down. And then also these um, these chairs turn into uh, into a bed as well down here. So you can fit well, kind of like bunk beds. Uh, more about like uh, getting a roomette. I would definitely recommend it if you have the money because then you can, uh, well one, you get your own room. And so during COVID, you don't have to wear your mask in the room, but you do if you are in coach because you don't have your own room. Um, Another thing that you get is you get uh, uh, you get to go to the dining car. So you get like three meals a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And the meals are fantastic. I'll get to that in a second. Um, it is a bit pricier, but um, I definitely think this is a superior way to travel, especially if you're doing like a long, like two day trip. Um, if it's less than that, I would maybe do coach just cause it's cheaper. Like a, a single day trip, there's no reason to get a room at. But multi-day, definitely get uh, do first class. To add that I probably wouldn't have uh, done a roomette if my company wasn't paying for it because <laughs> because I reserved it like last minute so it was quite pricier on the holidays way more than a plane ticket. Um, uh, it's $1,600 round trip but not my money so it's a uh, 500 for the going to Seattle ticket and then on the way back that's a thousand one hundred. The food is actually really good. Um, if people people are asking how, how good the food is, it's really good. I would definitely give it a try. Um, like I've never actually had something that was bad <laughs> and the presentation is all really good. The people who serve it are really nice and uh, it's like really good, good service. Um, you don't have to tip, although I think uh, I did for my waiter at the end of my last one and I will for this. Um, of course, it's all included if you ride first class, or if you're in a sleeper car, so, uh, so yeah. But the food is amazing, I'd definitely give it a try. They give you three meals a day, uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then you get dessert with, I think, you can get, I think you could actually request it with all of them. Uh, free alcohol during the, uh, for your first drink, uh, for, for dinner, and then you pay like six or seven bucks afterwards. Uh, and then you get all kinds of soda for free though, uh, like ginger ale, and uh, you can also drink wine or whiskey. Uh, I think I'm missing one of these, but yeah, uh, it's good. Try it out. Uh, can you shower on board? What are the bathrooms like? So you can actually shower. They do have a shower. I can show you some footage of that in a second. Um, I would recommend it. <laughs> Me personally, like I can go like two days without a shower. That's fine. Uh, you know, you do a baby wipe shower <laughs> and, you know, use deodorants. Um, I mean, you're on a train. You'll get there. You'll take your shower, unless you're a really smelly person. Uh, but I would bring your own flip-flops if you're going to do that. Um, uh, another question I get asked a lot is, are you able to, uh, like, stop, get out, and see things? 
So unfortunately, even though it passes through Glacier National Park, you don't get to stop anywhere in Glacier National Park and get out, uh, unless you do have a stop there, in which case you can stop and get out. But, um, but it's not like you get like, like time to go out and explore or anything. You get like some areas, you get like 10 minutes for like a smoke break, basically. Uh, uh, but yeah, you don't really, you don't really get to stop much places. Some places, uh, so the first time I, we rode through, um, you know, it's, it's really pretty, but we missed Glacier National Park because we went through at night. Uh, but on this return trip, I got to see it and it was, it was really pretty. <laughs> I'd recommend it. Um, I would recommend, like, if you really want to see it, I would recommend planning your trip so that it starts at a time that you, where it's still light out and you can see it. Also highly recommended is the summertime because uh, the days are longer uh, and the prices are probably cheaper than around the holidays. And so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I've got. I'm running out of time <laughs> editing this video on my phone. Uh, but I'm almost back to Chicago, so I'm going to have to let you guys go. But I might do a follow-up video a little bit more of like a chronological order and I'll include some nice cool shots of Glacier National Park and everything that entails. Till then, peace.